Hello everyone, it's Not a Noob Pat, and welcome to Perk Review. Today we're taking a look at the level 30 Nia Carlson perk, Balanced Landing. When you land from a fall, you will start sprinting at 150% of your normal running speed for 3 seconds. This perk also reduces the stagger from falling by 75% and muffles the groan you make from falling by 100%. This is an exhaustion perk, it will exhaust you for 40 seconds when you activate it, and you can't activate this perk again if you are exhausted. The pros are that this perk can help you extend or escape chases. You should be able to activate this perk multiple times a game. The cons are that this perk is not compatible with every map. During the video demonstration, I will get into this. That being said, it should also be noted that this perk is extremely good on some other maps. Let's get into our video demonstration. Here, I fall from the gallows and get my speed boost from Balance Landing. On the left, the survivor will be notified that Balance Landing has activated and that they are now exhausted. In the perk window and the status effect indicators on the right, you can see that I get my haste status for 3 seconds as indicated by the perk icon rotating clockwise. Then, you will also get the exhausted icon for 40 seconds. During that time, you won't be able to activate this perk again. Then, here is a speed comparison where the survivor on the right has balanced landing while the other does not. You can see that the person with balanced landing recovers from the fall faster and speeds away compared to the survivor on the left. Then, I wanted to take a moment to show you Shelter Woods which is a variation of Macmillan Estate. The only true drop on the map is the basement. Some people are able to create a drop on the middle tree, however this is a bit problematic considering there should at least be hills like on most variations of Auto Haven, for example. Yes, I know, this is only one map, but sometimes there is only the basement or two hills on other maps. It's something to think about when using this perk. Let's get into our video examples. We're going to start with the downsides of balance landing. Sometimes you have to activate this perk, but the killer is on top of you and you won't be able to get away. This is what happens here. You can see that the perk activates, but I still go into the dying state. In our next example, balance landing does save me here, but dang. Sometimes you will have high anxiety from trying to make your way to a drop. I have to absolutely grind my way to the drop, and to be fair, if I was facing a competent killer here, they would have downed me far before I got there. Alright, enough with the balance landing slander, I do enjoy this perk still, and let's get into the fun stuff. Here, the pyramid head is between me and the door. I run up this hill, and I'm able to get my speed boost and escape. If I didn't get my balance landing, this pyramid head would have had more than enough time to hit me twice and put me on a hook. Then, we have a swamp game. You can go off with this perk at the swamp. There are hills multiple platforms, and even the basement. It's just a good time to have this perk on this map. I'm doing a generator on this platform, and I'm able to get away problem free. Then, I'm going to return back to this generator to try to complete it. Look who it is, my good buddy Ghostface returns, and yet again I'm able to use this perk to skedaddle and get out of the way. Later on, I'm caught in a compromising spot in the shack. The god pallet was already used, so I decided to take my hit and drop into the basement for the balance landing speed boost instead of potentially being hooked in the basement if I were caught looping around the shack. Then, sometimes you're out of luck even if you use this perk. I drop off the boat and make a nice long run for it while the ghost face chases me. The final generator is going to be popped, but I am dead in the water here. That being said, I just wanted to highlight my heroic teammate Lucas who comes in with the clutch flashlight save that allows me to escape. Again, this is one of the better maps in the game to have this perk. I really enjoyed using balance landing here and felt safe on almost all of the generators. But again, I could have just as easily been on a bad map and this perk would have not been able to be utilized 4 separate times while in a chase. For our final game, we have another great map for this perk. I have the gallows, the saloon, the basement, and a few staircases to second floors with vaults that lead to drops. Also, I wanted to remind everyone that you don't have to use this perk just in a chase. I see that the killer is near me, and I use my balance landing off the gallows to speed over to my teammates so I can heal them up out of the dying state. Then, I'm just trying to be sneaky here. 
I use balance landing with the basement, and it doesn't look like the Demogorgon swings, but a hit still registers. Oh well, I'm still out of there after only taking one hit, and I won't be hooked in the basement. Then, simple enough, I see the killer coming, and I use my balance landing off the saloon. By the time the killer finds my tracks, I'm already around the killer shack, and I'm good to loop here. Then, the demo is camping the hook, but I go for a save and take the hit. Fortunately, I'm near a vault that leads to a drop, so I'm able to speed right away after. Finally, you're about to see a repeat. I'm going to hit my decisive strike, run to the same vault I just showed, and zoom away. 5 activations in 1 game. Let's give this perk a grade. Balance Landing is a 7 out of 10. I won't call it a bad exhaustion perk, but it is very map dependent. It could be a 9 out of 10 on some maps, an 8 or 7 on some others, and then on some, it's a 1 or a 2. Every map has vaults and pallets that you can use with live, you can activate dead hard anytime you are hurt, and with sprint burst, all you have to do is start running. Sometimes finding a drop to activate this perk is tough, if not impossible as I showed before. Again, I know I was just very critical. However, I was comparing this perk to some of the best in the game, like Dead Hard or Sprint Burst. Many perks don't look good compared to those two. Ultimately, Balance Landing is a preference for an exhaustion perk. If you like it, it's totally fine if you want to use it. I just think it's kind of a tough time arguing that it's legitimately better than those two options. All of this being said, I still had a lot of fun when I used this perk and it's not like I suffered while I was using it unless it was Shelter Woods. I think a 7 out of 10 is fair. It really depends on the map for me to grade this perk. I give the edge to Lithe, Sprint Burst, or Dead Hard, but it's not fair to say that you can't win with this perk even if it's outmatched by its counterpart. This perk is still fun, and no one will judge you if you use it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave it a like. If you want to check out more perk review, make sure to look for the links in the description and visit my channel to subscribe. I also stream twice a week on Twitch if you want to stop by. Take it easy.